everyone's easy. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. At least it's evening for me. So I did a little uh, little roaming around in the top 10, top 20. I checked out what everyone had in their camps. And everyone has the same troops up there. They all have balloons. They all have minions. Looks like they're all doing Lunian attacks, La Luna attacks. So we decided to do the same thing. <clears throat> so this video is a bunch of... You can see a bunch of balloons smashing bases. These are all the loon attacks from assorted players from both the clans. This first one is from J Boss. Um, I think this is the first video we have with J Boss in. He, he jumped on the bandwagon, decided to try the loonian out. Now, for, for for those of you that have never tried the attack, it doesn't seem like an attack that's going to work. You have a, a defense only uh, troop, which is the balloons that aren't that sturdy, and then you have them followed up by minions and a bunch of spells fact is that if you have the right spell placement and you have the right timing this this attack strategy it's a it's great for farming i'm not going to try it in war even though i do see a lot of town hall elites do it in war um but if you're if you're going dark elixir hunting uh, this is a great attack for you um matter of fact there, there's a reason that everyone's doing it let's just put it that way so, the next uh, couple attacks, we'll, we'll just kind of go over what, you, what you're looking for with the Lunian attack. Uh, what, you, what you're trying to accomplish during, in the middle of the attack. You don't just throw a bunch of troops in and hope they do well. You actually have to identify a few things before you go in on the attack. There's not a lot to try to consider, but there is a few things that will make it easier for you to succeed in, in the attack. <clears throat> First of all is, you want to pick the right base. And whenever you're out resource hunting, a, a major factor in resource hunting is finding the right base. And that involves you hitting that next button a lot. Um, if you're new to the game or fairly new, you may think that it's, it's a hassle to hit next five or six times. Well, try 50 times. That's how many times we have to next sometimes to find the right base. Um, okay, this next attack is Town Hall 8. This is, this is my little, uh, little easy. And uh, level 5 balloons, I believe level 3 minions, and what we did is we came in behind the air sweeper. So the air sweeper is pointing in the opposite direction that we brought the balloons in. And we just put a, a large line of balloons in. Uh, we also put some clan castle balloons in at, at a good angle for one of the air defenses. Now in Town Hall 8 you don't have haste spells. So we requested a haste spell in the clan castle. We brought 3 rage spells and a poison spell. Um, and at this point, what you, what you really want to do with three uh, rage spells is find a place where the balloons are going to converge because they are going after defense only. They're going to skip over everything but defenses. So you have to try to identify the right pathing for the balloons. You don't want to put, a, put the rage spell on top of the balloons. You want, to put them, you want to put the rage right in front of where the balloons are going. So they go into the rage spell. And then you want to place it over the most amount of defenses that you can. That way the balloons can stay in it the whole time. And you have to... You're going to have to get a knack for it. Because when I start, first started doing this attack, I would put the rage spell over a big clump of defenses. And every time I did that, the balloons would hook a right instead of a left. So you have to uh, have a pretty good understanding. Remember, um, th this is kind of like a magnet system. Whenever the, the troops going, are going from defense to defense, they are going to the closest defense. And all the defenses are pulling on it like magnets. So if one defense is, the fraction of, is a fraction of an inch closer, it's going to pull it to that defense first. So you have to, the pathing of them is going to depend on the distance. I know it sounds simple. I know it sounds kind of silly to have to explain it. But believe it or not, uh, this is th it's confusing to a lot of people why the balloons would go in a certain path when There's five defenses on the right hand side and there's only one defense on the left But the one defense on the left is only four tiles away and the ones on the right are five tiles away It's going to go after the defenses that are the closest Now in this attack this attack was done by too easy These are all farming attacks so we just attack the bases that had good loot on them uh, some of them were strong some of them were weak um, a so something else to look for for a base that's good to do a loonian on are bases that have the air defenses on the outside of the walls or close to the edge uh, you can put your heroes right on the air defense and 
and rage them up if you have to and take out the air defenses it's always a good idea to try to eliminate at least one air defense with your heroes which is what I did here I believe I got one air defense with a hero and then I tried to get the second one but it didn't quite make it but still if you've been if you've been watching these attacks closely the balloons drop so fast on the first drop they used to go over over the defense and it would take them almost a full second before they would drop now they're dropping as they're approaching pretty much I mean these things are dropping so fast that this attack is just almost doubled in effectiveness this is not a new attack this is an attack that people have been doing since before I've started playing uh, this is an attack that kind of comes comes and goes because you know these attacks are trendy you, you, people find popular troops and then and that's all that they use and because the balloons were kind of lost popularity uh, air attacks kind of lost popularity with the with the increased use of Valkyries and the increased use of, of bowlers and stuff so now that the b balloons are back you're gonna see a lot of these attacks so my next point how do you prepare your base for them and the best way to prepare your base form is you what you want to do is you want to have your air defenses at least uh, two rows back by two rows I mean you'll have a row of uh, collectors on the outside then you'll have a row of defenses and then you'll have your air defenses and because they're a defense only troop what you really want the balloons to do is you want them to approach your air defense and then get over let's say a cannon is in front and then you want touching the cannon uh, with the mortar and then you want touching the mortar uh, the wizard tower and what that will do is that will force them to go, go the balloons to go from the cannon to the mortar to the wizard tower before it will go to the air defense so now the air defense has three different defenses that the balloons have to get through before it gets to, to the air defenses um, it take, and again that takes a lot of practice uh, you you have to really understand pathing well before you can start making good bases to defend but a lot of people think that it's okay to put the air defenses on the outside on the outside of the base that's just not the way it works um, I've heard all kinds of different theories uh, about where to put the air defenses how troops will penetrate the base and if you have everything in the middle once the troops get to the middle well they can take out everything in the middle out pretty quick so what they'll do is they'll stretch out and they'll put all the air defenses on the outside so if all the troops get into the base from the, let's say the bottom left hand corner and then they get to the core well now they have the top right the top left and the bottom right so so all the air defenses are kind of on the outside of everything but what will happen is players will do surgical attacks and they'll they'll just spawn balloons on top of every air defense so you don't want to put the air defenses on the outside of the walls or near the outside you want you need to keep them at least two or three rows in and you'll learn this everyone should watch the attacks on their base if you are getting three starred if your if your village is getting three starred often then you've done something wrong and you have to evaluate your base by watching the attacks on your base and sometimes it just takes small little adjustments and sometimes you might have to do a complete overhaul and just rebuild altogether now I believe here I want to do a live attack I don't do many live attacks so I started hunting for a base let's see yeah this is me now what I did because this is all recorded I didn't actually talk during the attack because I suck enough knowing I'm recording <laughs> so we just fast forwarded through all these bases I was looking at and we ended up finding a really good base it was a dead town hall 10 and uh, I really wanted to take this whole base and even though it was a dead town hall 10 it, there's still so many more defenses than a town hall 9 that it's, it's hard for a town hall 9 to take the town hall 10 from the air and uh, I think I've been using this attack for two or three days now this is something I used to use when I when easy when my main was was a town hall 9 I loved this attack I, I, I liked La Luna and I liked Lunian but that's been a year now so I've been about a year away from it and it, it comes back to you but it takes it's been about two days that I've been using it and uh, it's not it's not it's not like uh, you three star immediately right away so it's something that takes a lot of practice with timing so in this attack here what I wanted to do is I wanted to come into the base in the bottom right and I, I was trying to get to the air defense with the heroes that didn't happen and that's when I rem it reminded me oh those are not uh, my town hall 10 heroes those are town hall 9 
So they didn't make it to the air defense. And so now, now the next thing I'm looking for is where are the air sweepers? I don't want to come in. I don't. I want the air sweepers out of the attack. I don't want them to affect the attack. So I, I put the balloons in. I put a couple of rage spells in right near where the air defenses are to try to raise those balloons up over the air defenses so I can get through them as fast as possible without doing much damage to the balloons. And we got through them pretty quick. And I saved some balloons for the back end, thinking that okay, I'm gonna put five or six balloons down on the bottom right. Hopefully it's going to take out the air defense and it hooked the left. So that didn't work out. And as the troops got through the core, I had a lot of balloons up still. And so I'm thinking I'm pretty good here. Um, you can see my cursor. See, I play on a computer. So, so I'm, I'm actually using a mouse to, to spawn everything in. So that might look kind of strange to you. But there it is, that last defense, that last air defense, the very first one that I tried to take out is the last one that took the rest of my troops out. And now I had a bunch of minions over it. They're gonna take it out. And this this was a productive attack. So and this is another good example of you don't have to three star while you're while you're resource hunting to, to have a successful attack. I think this attack got me close to three quarters of a million in resources. Uh, th 3,000 in Dark Elixir, that's a, it's a great score. Uh, I really liked, I wanted the three star for the video, but oh well, not perfect. And uh, I'm not interested in trying to show nothing but perfection. I, I, you know, I think that, uh, that some of the imperfections are important to show too. So here's easy sucking at three starring. <laughs> Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. A great attack, Lunian. Oh, try it out if you haven't if you haven't used it in a while. This is a great time to, to bring it back in because these balloons are just awesome. So until next time, it's been easy. Mm -hmm.